Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today I'm going to remake the giraffe pendant that I made on the live stream last week. What you're going to need for this project are your tools. I have flat pliers, cutters, round pliers. I'm going to use 20 gauge wire for the outline and 22 gauge wire for the spots and then the template which is available for purchase in my DIY Etsy shop. I'll link it up below. So I'm starting with the 20 gauge wire and I'm going to start on this side and leave a little bit of an end to my wire and I'm just going to trace around the shape. I put the template in a plastic folder to protect it. You can also get these laminated. So we're just going to go around and just follow the shape and then you could rotate it as you go. So we're just going to go around and follow the shapes in here as best you can. Of course you can always freeform it if you prefer and you can also like pick it up, do a bend and then put it back on the template to get the right dimensions. It's just really to help you with the dimensions of the piece. So we're going to go around. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect. It's really not a huge deal. And then we're going to do some like pushing the wire with your finger. And then from here we want to do the lashes. So we're just going to put that in place. We're going to take that and bend it out and then we can actually hold this and just wind it up like that to get the lash and you can eyeball it literally or you can put it back on the template we're going to bend that back here and then we're just going to bring this one in and round it out a little bit and then if you want to see to compare it to the template it's going to look like that and then you want to do the arch over here. We're just going to form this around the shape of the eyelash, bring it back to the template, match it up a little bit and decide where to bend it back. So from here we're going to take this and bend it to the back. You want to bend that wire right to the back, pinch it a little bit, line it up and bring it around here. Now if you want to push those wires together a little bit more you can always use your flat pliers to squeeze those together a little more and then you're going to get your larger round pliers. Put it where the eyeball is and just go around and form the eyeball. Now the bigger the eyeball the cuter the animal. So we're just going to form the eyeball like that. Bring it in here wiggle it around to get it in the right shape. If you need to move it over a bit you can go ahead like that. So and there's your eyeball. So I could have made this line a little bit bigger if I want but it's still cute. So we're going to pull it in a bit and then just bend it down to continue on the template. So now we'll put it back on the template and then bring this down, hold it in place and then bend it here, bring it down, rotate the template Make sure it lines up more or less and then here we're going to bend it straight up. So bend it straight up and then we're going to bend it out for the nose. We can just check these angles a little bit and then take this one and bend it there. Now the nose has a little bit of a curve. For the one I made on the sample I bent it upon itself to be, give like a very clean line but you can also just do it sort of beside each other. So if you bend this just like that and then but you want to pinch it in a little bit so that isn't too much of a space there. So just take this and you can just pinch it in a bit and it gives a little bit more dimension when you can just see the two wires beside each other. So now we're going to bend that one up more at an angle, curve it out a bit. I'm just using my fingernail. You can also use your pliers. So in the same position that that one was we're just going to bend it in, give it a sharp bend, squish it in again and see it makes a little little bit more dimensionality there. So we're going to bring that in and then curve it in a bit 
and then you can bend it straight down so just get your wiggle your pliers in there bend it straight down use your fingernail if you have to and there you have like the bit of a nose there so now bring it straight down and then bend it up here so you have the little nose there so now we'll put it back on the template and just follow it around so we're just going to go around here curve it up around here and then we want to sort of do the opposite of what we did on that side so i'm just going to bend this to the outside and then get our round pliers bend it around to the front so bend it around see if that's about the same size bring it in down like that and then we want to form the eyelash again you can use the template for that or just freehand it so from here we're just going to take the pliers bend it sharply bend it on itself and then form it around the eyeball so just bring it around and then push it up like that so there we have our eyelash and then we could bend it to the back so you can exaggerate your eyelashes if you want them more kind of fancy bend it back on itself and then up and around and then we could bring back the template if you like and then just bend it above the eye there so just bend it up here then there's just a little curve above the eye bring it back on the template and then just figure out where you need to bend it so we're going to bend it here and then again and just keep actually it works well that this thing is in plastic because it you can rotate it a little bit easier too and then this part I want to bring it to the back so I'm just going to bring that to the back so it looks like it's kind of behind the head so we're just going to adjust that bring that one in and then we're going to just bring that one up so there's the first part and then we want to just form these little horns here so we're going to just make sure this is more or less in the right position form that up you can use your fingernail to kind of bend it around too so we're just going to form that one you could lift it off the template bring it around adjust it how you like so we'll just bring it around here and then we're just going to form it around the horns so we're just going to bring it here use these down here lift it up bring it around here if you want to do your horns in a different way that's fine these ones are I pretty well like traced a stock photo of a giraffe to get the exact you know shape of the giraffe uh, correctly so if you want to stylize it even more go for it like some of the simpler ones are just like little sticks with uh, circles on the top but this is cute because it's pretty accurate you know to the shape of the of the giraffe so we're going to bring this one around here and i would have taken a picture of a giraffe myself but we don't have any nearby we're in canada and uh, there used to be like a park safari near here but i don't know if it's still open I haven't been since my daughter was little so now if you have to like pick it up adjust it a little bit it's totally fine just bring that one here and around sometimes it's a little fiddly but it's worth it to go back and forth and get it somewhat proportionate go here and then up here bring this and make sure it's more or less than the right position it's fine if it's off a bit so then we would want to bring it back down on this side of the giraffe so bring it over here start to bend it out a little bit and then it's going to come around so now you're going to see this is the problem we had on the live stream is i ran out of wire 
but I uh, I'm making a smaller design so it's not too bad this is I actually cut an 18 inch piece of wire and so from here what you want to do is we're going to attach these two wires and then just keep going down with it so what I want to do now is I'm going to actually just put it back on the template to make sure it's about everything's going to be lined up and then here I'm just going to take this wire and bend it on a right angle to the back okay the longer wire I just bent it on a right angle and then I'm going to surround it with this wire here so I'm just going to put my pliers just above the ear and bend this little wire into kind of a circle type of thing and then this is going to catch this wire that's been bent at a right angle then we'll just take the end and give it a good little tug okay we've just tugged it there and then we're going to give it a little clip so we'll just clip it and then we're just going to pinch that so it's flush and then we'll just take this wire that's being bent at a right angle and then just bend it hold it hold these two wires together so they won't split apart and then just bend it straight down and then we want to curve it around this behind this bit so it's discreet so you don't really see it so we're just going to curve it around there and then just bring it around the eye so bend it out so it's so you don't have a line through the eye bring it around here so just make sure it's really behind that eyeball so you don't see it and then just where it's bent let's get a smaller pliers just where it's bent underneath just bend it out so put it back on the template and then just bend it where it should be bent here so we're going to go here and then this one across and then this one up and then just curve it a little bit and then we're just going to see where we need to bend it here so we've got that one that one that one and then here i'm just going to give it a little bend up at a bit of a right angle and i've cut this a little bit too long so i'd cut it 18 inches so we really only need 17. so we're going to bring this one in stick it in there remove the template and then just take this hold it in place you can actually help that bend a little bit more if you want and then we're going to hold that in place and then take the end bring it around we'll just give it a little tug and then we're going to clip that right in there make it flush and then position this where you want it to be it's going to go up a little bit because we don't want it right to the end of the chin there so just position it up a little bit if you have to bend it out you can so just position it there and just give it a little pinch without pinching through the wire and that's going to hold it in place so then if you need to you can go ahead and do some adjustments like just do a little bit of adjustments now and then like line these up a little more if you have to okay and then now we can do the shapes so for the spots you can follow it exactly how i did the template there and you could see that in the live stream that i did i'll link it up below or you could kind of freeform it so i'm going to kind of freeform it because it is smaller and i'm going to start with this uh, 22 gauge wire and i know i want the heart shape so i'm going to go ahead and do the heart shape and make it pretty abstract so we're just going to do a little bit of a heart and i don't want it to be perfect because i want it to look like sort of an accidental heart type of thing in the giraffe so just do like a loose kind of heart shape in there and then whatever size that you think you want and then we'll just start by putting that in the giraffe so the heart's going to go in there and then what you want to do also is start doing like more loops so decide where you want it to be and then we'll just go ahead and start doing our little loops so we want 
kind of a loop to go around this way. I'm just going to go kind of go there and then down and just decide about where I want it to go and then uh, that way and then make a loop. It's tricky to know what direction to get it to go but I want one to go that way and one to go that way. So if we have like that and then that'll be positioned in there and if it's too low just go ahead and like move it up a little bit it's totally fine you know these are pretty forgiving it's copper wire so we just don't have a lot of space to work with so we and we want the heart to be visible and I'll just twist that in place so this is gets sort of like anchored beside the bottom of the neck I'm going to bring this one and twist it around a couple of times and then we can start forming our other uh, spots. So what you can do is just like kind of make a little shape and then attach it on the side and it's going to form another little spot. So let's just do one on one side and then we can come to this side and do the same thing. So we're just going to do a loop around that way. So decide where about it's going to go. See around there and then across okay, around here it's going to kind of sit in that corner there and flip it up if you have to access it just slip your pliers underneath there and around so there's another kind of little loop thing going on there and you can bend this too you can just bend it out a little bit so it's not like perfectly diagonal maybe that's going to be a little wider than that spot because you don't want them all to be the same either so now we're just going to take this one and wind it around again. So we have our kind of beginning spots there. The heart stays there. And then we want to fill the rest in with, with spots. So let's just bring this one through, just all the way through here. And then do another one kind of to the sides. So we're just going to bring that one in there. Make another little, if you want it more kind of angular, just go ahead and bend it with your pliers so there's more of a bend and less of like a loop type of thing and then bring it here twist it through again to anchor it to the side and then bring it up again full turn around and then here too you can do another one here and just decide what shape you want it to be so if you want it to be more kind of triangular just go like that and then out like that and that's going to be more like a kind of a pointy in shape there we go perfect and then we can just take this one and then you can just finish that end so we're just going to take this twist it around it's so it's rather small so i'm not going to go under the chin like i did with the sample on the live stream just because we don't have a lot of wiggle room so we're going to pinch that there so there's the, that one like that and then let's do another one on this side so bring this to the front right around here and then maybe want we want to do like a a taller narrow spot so we're going to take this bring this one up make sure you're not like cutting off your heart shape and then we're just going to bend that one in here okay so that should be good so again, I cut my wire a little bit long, but that's okay. So that can just go like that. Looks really cute, very simple. Bring that one around here. So yeah, you probably only need about 10 inches of wire, but it's good to cut it a little longer just to be sure. So at that point, you can just adjust your spots as you see fit. You know, bring them down a little bit, adjust the spacing. There you have your beautiful giraffe. And if you prefer, you can make it all the same color. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. 
So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.